So we're on the top of Kuf Yud Tes Amid Beis, and we're up to my Mashma, which is about five lines down from the top, six lines down from the top, the high over Lishna Dak Dumehu. The Gemara quoted Shmuel that said that every mitzvah requires a bracha over Lasiyasa. And the word over is interpreted as meaning before you do the asiyah. So before you engage in the mitzvah, you recite a bracha. Now the Gemara wants to know the etymology. How do you know the word over in Tanakh means before, prior? And the Gemara says, Amr of Nachbar Yitzhak the Siv, after Yoav ben Truya kills Avshalom, and he sends his Mishares, it's called the Kushi. And he runs to notify David Amelech about the fact that Avshalom was, was killed. Another individual who also ran on the way, there was some kind of like a race, who would get, to, who would get there first to tell David Amelech was Achimot ben Sadok HaKohen. And the Pasuk in Shmuel Beis, Perak Yitches, tells us, Vayorat Achimot Derech HaKikar Vayavor Esakushi. So he took a different route through the Kikar and he passed over the Kushi, meaning he was mocked him and he got to Dovid before the Kushi. So that's one source that the word over means getting there before. Abai Omar Mihoch Abai has a different pasuk in Rachel's Paraklav and Gimel. When you may recall, that Yaakov Avinu comes back from Choron, Esim is on the way to destroy Yaakov. So Yaakov divides up his entire entourage into two groups. And then, after doing so, the Pesach says, V'hu ovar lifnehem, v'ishtachu artsa sheva pa'amin, meaning that here were the two groups of Yaakov's entourage, and Yaakov passed over them, and went further than they did to fir- be the first one to greet his brother Yaakov. Ika diami mihocha. Others say that it was a different. Excuse possible. me, exactly where are you? Um, I'll tell you in just a second, so we'll complete the whole thing. Vayavar malkom lefneim vashem roshal. And the poskim micha speaking about the nevua, the prophecy of Yemos Hamashiach. It says that when Klal Yisrael will come back from the exile, then the Melech HaMashiach will go first. He will go before them. And that's indicated with the word Vayavar. So we see again that the word Vayavar is a lotion of HaKadom. So let me just show you where we're up to now. We're on Daf Kuf Yutes on the base, trying very quickly to get to the Mishnah. And that is we're up to the word Tanya. So if you count down from the top of Kuf Yutes on the base, approximately, I would say maybe 11 lines down from the top of the Omud, you'll see a line that sets with the word Malcolm. You have that? Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Okay, you got sure. it? So Malcolm, and we're up to the word Tanya. Tanya, we learned in Abraisa, Revi Kofil Ba Dvarin. Rabbi Yudha Nasi had the minog that there were certain verses in Halel that he would repeat twice. And those were basically four psukim. There was Baruch Haba B'Shem Hashem until the end of Halel. All those verses Rebbe would read twice. Rebbe Lozim and Parta Mosif B'Dvarim. He was Mosif Lichvol B'Halel Dvarim. In other words, in addition to Rebbe's Four psukim that Rebbe would repeat, this Rebbe Elaza would repeat other psukim. My Mosif, what did he add? Amr Abaye, Mosif Lichvol, Odcha Kiani Sani, Batehili Lishua, Ulamata, meaning until the end of Halim. So all the psukim, beginning with the Pasuk Baruch Abab Shem Hashem, would be repeated twice. Doresh Ravadia. Zimnin Omrele Mishmeder of Asi, Zimnin Omrele Mishmeder of Asi. Sometimes he would say it in the name of Rav Ami, others, other times Rav Avira would say it in the name of Rav Asi, of Rav Asi. My Dixiv, what does the Pasuk mean in Gracious Berk of Aleph? By Igdal Hayelet Vayigamel, Vayas Avram Mishteg Adol Biom Higamel Sitzchok. This Pasuk 
is an allusion to the future of days. Now, this Gemara, this Haggadah that we're about to learn, connects with what we what we learned earlier on Kufi Tesam and Aleph about a Sauda, a Sauda that's going to be a, a commemoration of some great simcha. Like for example, when David Hamelech was chosen amongst the children of Yishai as the selected Mashiach Hashem, meaning to be the Melech Bisro, they made a Sa'ud. And here, Asid HaKadosh Baruch Hu Laso Sa'ud Tzadikim. At the end of days, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will set up a Sa'ud. They'll be eating the payrolls of Gan Eden. The pre eight HaChayim V'Gan Eden. And this is going to be a comm- comm- commemoration of Yom Yigal Chazdo Lazar Shal Yitzchak. If you take a look at the Pasuk, it says Vayigamal. Now Vayigamal means that Yitzchak was weaned from his mother's milk. And at that point they made a celebration. But we're going to take the word Vayigamal or Vayigamal and we're going to interpret it as sheyigmo, which means to besol chesed. And instead of Yitzchak, now we're talking about zaro shel Yitzchak, the descendants of Yitzchak. And this is going to happen bizman hagu'ula liachar. And what's going to be at the end of the meal? You know, at the end of every meal, we have what's called zimun. And you have to choose one person to be the mezami, to initiate the zimun. And liachar sha'ochlin v'shosim, after the tzaddikim will partake of this meal, some say that this is going to be the meal of Livyasan, and also the peros, as we said before, of Gan Eden, is nosin lo li avram avinu koshal brach. All eyes turn to Avram. He is the founder of the nation. He should be the one at this great celebration, liyasid lava, with all the tzaddikim, he should be the mavarek, the mezami. The Omelehem any Mavarch. Avram says it's not, I'm not worthy of it. Shiyatsa Vimeni Yishma. Omeloli Yitzchak, they turn to Yitzchak. O Ubarech, take the coast and you recite the Brah. Omelehem any Mavarch, Shiyatsa Vimeni Esa. Omeloli Yaakov, Tol Ubarech, you take the Brah. Omelehem any Mavarch. Why? Shenasasi Shte Achios Bechayehem. That I was married to two sisters, Rachel Valea. They were both alive. You're allowed to marry a sister of your wife, but only after she, your wife passes on. And he, during his lifetime, Yaakov Vinu married two, two sisters. Now, again, there's a whole discussion about how Yaakov was allowed to marry two sisters. And the Ramban defends Yaakov technically, according to the Allah. But the very fact that he was married to two sisters at the same time, in some daku stick away, is a, is a deficiency in Yaakov. And I see the Torah, Osran Allah. The Torah is going to say later on in history, says Yaakov, in Parshas Kedoshim, it says, So who's next on line? They turn to Moshe Tolu Barech. Moshe Tolu Barech. Apparently, the Torah is going to say, So who's next on line? They turn to Moshe Tolu Barech. Moshe Tolu Barech. Moshe Apparently, I'm not a perfect person. I'm also deficient. Haraya, I never made it into Eretz despite all my hundreds and hundreds of, of supplications. I didn't even get buried in Eretz Yisrael. So Omel Oli Yoshua, they turned to Yoshua, told him, Omel Hemeni Mavarech, Shalom Zachisi Leben. Yoshua, according to Divrei Ayomim, did not have a son. Now, this is all based on Sukim. In Divrei Ayom, which the Gemara now quotes, Nechsiv Yoshua bin Nun, when the Torah goes through the entire lineage, the genealogy of Ephraim, the son of Yosef, and this, as I said before, is in Divrei Ayom, Aleph, Perik Zion, and it goes through Ben Achar Ben till it gets 
from Rea, who's the son of Ephraim, goes on to Rafaf Bino, Refach Bino, Rechef Veselach Bino, Sachan Bino, one generation after the other, Ladon Bino, Amihud Bino, Elishama Bino, and then it says Non Bino, Non is the father of Yoshua, and then it says Yoshua Bino. Yoshua is listed at the end, the last on this genealogy tree. No mention of the children of, Yo of Yoshua, if we believe that Yoshua did not have children. So therefore, who do they turn to? Omer lo David tol ubarech. Omer lehem and David says, ani avarech. Now, what gives me the right, says David, if thou Ram and Yitzhak and Yaakov and Moshe and and even Yoshua, know, none of them were able to make the brach. They weren't Roy. Each one had his the deficiency. And now David says, I'm ready to make the bracha. This pasuk from Halel in Parakuf Tet Zion is indicative of David Amelech, that on the day that he was anointed king, he picked up the kos at the great celebration together with Shmuel and Yishai and all the children of Yishai. But the Marsha here has a different take. And he says that the Ikra did yesh liten le gadol zame. The halacha requires that we give zima to the gadol, the greatest of them all. Now, all these that are mentioned here, all eight of them, were holech kodmim with David Amel. They should come before David. But each one had a reason why he turned it down. Now, the Gemara says in Brochus, over Lahazki Birkas was in Bris, Torah, Birchas Haoretz, Malchus based David. So these are the basic four Brochus that form the structure of Benching. Avram and Yitzchak. They said they cannot make the bracha because the Pasuk says, which means Mila. And Avram Avinu had Yishmoel. And the bris is only Chayach, the Zaro, Shel, Yitzchak, not Zaro, Shel, Yishmoel. As the Torah says, as Brisi Akayim is Yitzchak. Yitzchak refused because, because Yitzchak had a son. And once again, Esau is not part of the bricks. Yaakov Avinu can't make the brach. He married two sisters, and he violated on what the Torah says. And therefore, he cannot say, Al Moshe Rabbeinu cannot make the bracha. He cannot recite, Al Eretz Chemda, to thank Hashem for the land, because Lo Zachlar, Yeshua, even though he did enter into the land, but Lo Zacha, he didn't have the same level of schus, of merit, as David Amelech. David builds Yerushalayim. Yoshua did not build Yerushalayim. And in Yerushalayim, Yivne Bno, Yitz Shlom Amelech, would build the Beis HaMikdash. Now, since Yoshua did not build Yerushalayim in the Beis HaMikdash, and Yeroi Sheyomer Al Habayis HaGodah, which is part of Bench. David Zachali Elu, everything above David had, and therefore he she'al David ze'atzmo tiknu berches bon Yishlaim kochein zochel halamal shenetsu roi lavarach yosim yikum. So he's the one. So therefore, this pasuk says kos Yeshuas esa, and the the beginning of that chapter starts with Mar Shiv Lashem Kol Tagmoli Olai. That all those who came before me, there was some deficiency. They were excluded from Birkas Amoza, from Zimun. But David had called Tagmulim Alo. He had Briz and he had Torah, he had Oret, he had Malchus. And therefore, Kos Yeshua's Esav, Shem Hashem Ekra, which is the Lachan of Zimun, as the Gemara establishes in Brachas Memhe, Birkas Azimun Minolan, Shinemar Ki Shem Hashem Ekra, Avu Godel. Lelo Kainan. So this 
uh, Pasuk, which we, we quote here in, in Agamor, Kosius Esu Shem Hashem Ekra, is indicative of the Lashon of Ki Shem Hashem Ekra, right? The same words, Kosius Esu Shem Hashem Ekra, appear in Dvarim Lamed Beis, Ki Shem Hashem Ekra, Habugol Lelkenu, which is the source and the basis for Zim. And this is where we wanted to start for today with the Mishnah on the bottom of Daf Kufi Tes Amin Beis. So that we start here with the Mishnah, and we go on to Kuf Chaf, which is today's, today's Daf. 